Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are being able to watch and join today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are joining today. I repeat that because again, I am always seeing the dial spinning and if I start too early, people miss the intro. If I wait too late, I'm just sitting there looking at the screen. So I'm so glad you're with us wherever you are and whenever you can join. This is Jan Russell, Dr. Russell, Dr. Jan, and I am premiering on my own page about Journey with Jesus and that I will be your tour guide. It's really about how I'm working through my own devotionals and so often I have so much to overflow that I want to share and so my family and my immediate friends will, are thankful because now I'm not just texting them and calling them every day to tell them what I want to say. I'm getting to go with you and I'm so glad to share. Well, today our topic is fences and there was enough extra information. My goal is to keep this short that I want you to be able to go look other information up if you so choose. And one last uh, caveat as we go on. This will be uh, broadcast also um, taped onto Russell Institute of Learning uh, Facebook page. I always encourage you to go there because sometimes the um, actual videos of that day are different, but this is going to cover all of the areas. I also have a Russell Institute of Learning, but it's probably under Jan Ware Russell YouTube and then also LinkedIn. So they will be um, uploaded in all of those areas. I would hope that you will like each of those. I hope you will subscribe to each of those. And I hope that every video you see that has benefited you, you will share. So let's get back to fences. I am speaking from my own personal life growing up that as a teenager and even before that, I hated the rules. People who know me would say, well, you're always bucking the rules. You're always trying to do something. Not only buck the fence, but jump over the fence. And it, I don't know when it finally came into my knowledge that fences are really there to protect you. There is a protection from the inside and a protection on the outside. And I'm just wanting you to realize that as a teenager, um, I'm coming to understand that when there is a fence or a boundary, a hedge that your parents are giving you, you may be right up against that fence but and bucking and pushing, but at least you know there is a boundary. There is a difference. What if you don't have a boundary and that you're running sort of wild and you're searching everything and that's exactly what I felt I wanted to do. I wanted to be wild, born free, let's go, let's do. But you know what, there comes a point where you may have gone so far, you don't know where you are. You may not have that safety and protection or knowing how to get home. So there is the fence and the boundary that your family, your parents are going to give you. And we have to realize my fence for my children and my family may be different than the fence for your family. This also goes into our classrooms as teachers. This goes into our professions as leaders. We set a tone and a boundary. And then we're gonna find those who they are fence huggers. They're gonna just be there with their, their muzzle hanging over and just looking, oh, and saying the grass is greener on the other side. Well, that's not always true. There are difficulties. The nice part about a fence is it also protects you from outside. You know, those wolves, those bears, all of the difficulties that may come your way. So I have put enough information that if you would like to t think about this in a little more detail, that we as humans don't like boundaries. However, boundaries are set for our safety and our protection. Psalm 91, he who dwells in the safety and the secret place of the Most High will abide. There is a safety. Uh, Job chapter 1 verse 10, you know, he talks about God has hedged him in all around. My mom, as I've been growing up, always prays for a bubble of protection, this hedge that I know is there. So ladies and gentlemen, young boys, old women, 
anybody who's listening, <laughs> we need to know that a fence is for our safety. It is not, God is not a killjoy. Well, I'm going to keep you from having fun. You can't do this. You can't do that. Hey, you know what? We could do whatever we want. We have been given a freedom of choice. But do the boundaries protect us? Let me just ask you this. You got a two-year-old? You're going to put him behind your wheel of your car? And he's going to drive? Or she? Now, you might set them on your lap, and you might let them think they're driving, but you're not. That's a fence. That's a boundary. That's a safety. And so we need to realize that when we put those items in place, and I'm not sure where anyone is in their belief and their family and all of the you know, whether you smoke, whether you drink or all those, you know what? I don't think God is going to beat us up. The problem is we're beating ourselves up. And if you choose to do those activities way earlier than is the boundaries, you haven't created a good mental, spiritual um, growth within yourself to be able to limit because you know what? What happens when the horse or the animal or somebody jumps over the fence? They are so happy and they kick up their feet. They don't realize they just jumped out of safety into danger. So again, this is not talking about do's and don'ts. It's talking about let us set a boundary for safety that we will be able to live long and healthy the Bible says, I have given um, a plan for you, a plan to prosper you, not to harm you, but a plan that God wants to give us hope. And we can't always say, oh, we're going to roll in the dough and the money. No, blessing is more than that. Blessing is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And against these, there is no law. There is no fence to those. Hallelujah. Let's find where is it that we are supposed to be so that we have the freedom to live outside the fence where there is no boundary. Good question. So look forward to seeing how you deal with your fence. Are you inside? Are you outside? Are you following the shepherd? If you're a sheep, are you letting him bring you in and bring you out? What are you doing about the fences in your life? Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye.